hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new yet please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started then go to your file over here then you select new then we are going to use 1080 by 1080 and your resolution 300 then you click on great this is your canva area now we are going to copy this color code over here then go to your solid color ctrl plus v to paste then copy the church name select your text to or t using your keyboard ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the font size then duplicate it ctrl plus j highlight it then copy your text from here then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to helvetica regular Now open the character spacing. Four hundred will be okay. Then we are going to import the church logo. Reduce the size. Then you drag it and place it at the top. Using your arrow key then to bring it down. Now we are going to import this. Reduce the size. Then apply brightness and the constraints. All right. Then import the rest of the image and arrange them in order. Just follow the process. All right so now we are done with this and we convert it to smart objects then apply your layer mask and blend the bottom so ensure that you select black and white now blend it then rasterize it and go to your image then go to adjustments and select the saturation then come over here and select black and white then follow the process and copy this code
So, all right. Now, create a clipping mask so that it will apply to the image. Then, we are going to select lookup. Then, and select this one over here. Now, we are going to create a clipping mask. You can see the outcome. When I turn off and turn it on, you will see the difference over there. Then, right click to create a clipping mask so that it will only affect the image. Now, we are going to place their names. Remove the character spacing by 0%. So I'm going to be a bit fast here. Alright, so we are done on that one now. So we proceed to the main test. So I'm using the font Helvetica Inserat. Now scale it out. Then apply vertical alignment and deselect it. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Ctrl V to paste. And remove the capital letter. Now we are going to change the font to England Signature. And the color red. Apply a drop shadow, then follow this setting. Then click OK to apply it. Then rotate it this way like this is okay then copy the team control plus v to paste Now we are going to reduce the size and rotate it. Then change the font color to white and change the font. I'm going to leave the font in the description 
so that you can get it and make use of it. Then copy the location. Now import the location icon. Place it over here. Then go to image adjustment and select your hue and saturation or you press ctrl plus u change the font now reduce the font size Apply vertical alignment and deselect it. So what I'm doing now, I have to adjust it so that I will have a space. Then bring this one down using your arrow key. Create a space between the location. Now apply a board to the test there. Then now we have we have to copy the date and the time. Zoom in. Reduce the size. Place it over here. Then we are going to drag it up. Now go to your resource and import the icon. Reduce the size. Position it around here and adjust your test. All right, so then you duplicate it. Now I'm going to change the font to a vertical insert. Increase the size. All right, then you copy this one. And adjust this one. Okay. Then we are going to copy this one. Select your test tool and duplicate this one. Highlight it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to reduce the font size and drag it up. Then we are going to bring it and position it over here. Increase the size. And adjust this one. Then we are going to import the time logo icon. Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation or go to over here the image adjustment hue and saturation to convert it. Then you can also use Ctrl plus I to invert the color. So 
so always remember what i did is to duplicate it control plus j to duplicate then i'm going to copy the am then control plus v to paste I'm going to reduce the font size and position it around here. All right. Now we are going to group it. Increase the size. okay so we are done with that one then we are going to proceed hold your shift key while you select it then you group it and i'm going to drag this one up I'm trying to create a space because I have to draw a rent angle line. Okay, so as you can see, I have a line now. A space now that I can create a rent angle line. So now I'm going to select the rent angle and draw a rent angle line. Then change the color to white. Reduce it small. Then go to filter and select motion blur. Then apply the number over here. Then click OK. Then go to select, select all. Apply vertical alignment. Then you deselect. Then I'm going to adjust it. okay now i'm going to import this light flare here position it at the top over here and reduce the size Then duplicate this one. Then we are going to also import this light here. Then change the blending mode to screen. Then apply a layer, a layer mask. Select your brush. And we are going to clean up this area. something like this then 
then group it together now i'm going to import the background then drag the image up scale it a little then and change the blending mode to luminosity reduce the opacity to 17 percent apply your layer mask and blend the bottom okay then go back to your resource file and import this one drag it up right click and flip it horizontal then you select this position reduce the opacity right then i'm going to import this one then you apply this setting of block 9.4 then and change the blending mode to linear bone then select all apply vertical and horizontal alignment then you deselect So that is all about this tutorial. Thank you so much for following. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. I really appreciate all your following. And if you need any of my flyer, please go to my Fiverr account in the description and place your order right now.